So we fueled up at the end of the Nullarbor, and um, now we're heading into Fraser Ranger Station, just outside of Norseman. So I'll take taking Jack to the toilet. Found these little mounds. But if you have a close look, it looks like a an eye. Yeah, it's an ant's nest. There are ants in there, but it's like a little slot. Can't see it because of the shadow. So we got told about this place called Fraser Range Station. It's an old sheep station um, that set up as a caravan park, and I still think it's a working farm, but it's two kilometres of this dirt road, graded dirt road, into the farm. And everyone along the Nullarbor that I spoke to who'd been through this area says it's a really beautiful place to say to stay. So let's see what it's like. <laughs> Yes, right from the get-go, you feel like you're driving into someone's farm, not a holiday park. So on the left-hand side, you've got these three old cars, and on the right side, you've got the um, working windmill. There's all this old farm equipment hanging around, or they're well placed to, to give you a feel like the farm, plus old vehicles. So here we are, go in the office and get sorted out. So we booked in and Jack and myself went for a little bit of walk, walk and a tour around the farm. Jack would have really loved to have got off the lead, but there were some farm animals around, so we'll show you that a little bit later. I think I drove one of these in New Zealand, but not the ute, just the car. If it's what I think it is. Shearing shed. You can still see the cat. Let me pat him when you're my her. Yeah, as soon as I walked over to the animals, they came over and were very friendly. And as you see, they let me pat them. And yeah, a little bit inquisitive they were. Tied the little hurricane up so he didn't upset the camels or the the bull. Wasn't too happy about it. Wants to go over there and check him out. You can see him in the distance. Not sure what it is. But yeah. This is their camp kitchen where they invite you over for a baked dinner that night. Yeah, this is some of their farm equipment from a past con era. be definitely visiting this place later at fire pit nice sunset or night drinks yes yeah, so this is the farm and on this last hill you see right here there's lookout you can walk up to so this is our camp set up for the night
So in the end I decided to do some time lapses from the front of the farm with the camera right on sunset. So it's time to go have dinner and then go really enjoy this this fire pit with a glass of red and some good company. Yeah, in the end about six other people came over to the fire pit and talked and drank and then it was time to go use the amenities, have a nice good long hot shower and hit the sack. Yeah, that was a beautiful stay at Fraser Range Station. Great place to stop to wash the road off you and um, sit around that gorgeous fire and chat to other travellers. Yeah, so now we're headed into towards Kalgoorlie. Uh, while I was at Bunda Cliffs, my internet didn't work. It kept on coming up with this doesn't recognise card. And I'll let you know how I go with Telstra. So once I've sorted out the problem with Telstra, I'm going to come back this way. So I found this beautiful dry lake and yeah, I'll pull up and do a drone fly on my way back. I really do love the Australian landscape. So here we are coming into Kalgoorlie. Of course, behind a road train, what else? So I went to Telstra shop to sort out my problem with not detecting a SIM card. Not detecting a SIM card to Telstra means no service, even though it showed four bars on 4G. Yeah, so their explanation for the problem was the tower was down. Yeah, so they've got this beautiful lookout. Looks like a water reservoir there with the history. The water's coming out of that, and then this beautiful viewing platform. Yeah, so this is the view looking straight over Kalgoorlie. Now I look for a place where I can go take off the drone without being in people's faces to have a view of the super pit. Yeah, so in the end I took off and the too far back from the super pit to really get a good view of it. And um, it's wrong time of day and I wasn't staying long in Kalgoorlie as it was, so, you know.
So sort of this is the edge of the mine and it just continues to go around. You can see it's a fairly big mine now. It's not just one pit. It looks like a combination of a whole lot of mines, but it's, yeah, yeah it's a fairly big site. And it's not just one big hole in the ground now. So that was our visit to Kalgoorlie. Now we're heading down to Esperance. So here we are at this dry lake doing a drone fly and letting Jack really stretch his legs, as you'll see in a minute. As you can see the lake goes from dry lake goes from one side of the road to the other and it yeah it's a huge dry lake yeah this is where we pulled up but you can see they excavated under the ground so there's still a heap of water there but it's underneath the lake by about i'd say two feet On one side you've got the road and on the other side you've got the rail that crisscrosses the road all the way into Kalgoorlie and virtually follows this road all the way down to Esperance. So I land it, change the batteries and then really get Jack to stretch his legs and um, try and wear him out and give him a lot of exercise and he had a ball. So after a while I got really tired and then of course what'd he do? He just went into this water and <laughs> just cooled himself off. And then he'd roll in the dirt and then I'd get him back in the water and yeah, brush him off and dry him off before he got in the car. But yeah, he's <laughs> he's worn out here. Yeah. that tired and hot he's not even worried about the drone so after drying jack off we hit the road we're going through Norseman at the moment and heading to Esperance so see you on the next episode and thank you for watching Take me